the promise in Matthew 6, 33, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. And, and one, one couple came to talk to me about that, and, and they are in a milieu where that verse is usually taken to justify the health, wealth, prosperity, name it, claim it, word of faith kind of Christian living and it sounded like I was saying that to them and so let me say what I was saying and then give you a verse or two and and then move into this session um, all things there and in 2nd Corinthians 9 8 and in Philippians 4 19 does not refer to everything you want from time to time. It refers to everything you need in order to glorify God. And God calls some people to glorify Him by dying. And so if you're dying in a prison or in the guillotine or on the rack or of a disease, clearly some of the all things like food and clothing and drink to sustain life are missing. So when he promises all these things will be added to you, he means exactly the amount you need in order to do what I want you to do. Could be die, could be live, could be prosper, could be have a very simple Spartan lifestyle in the city for the sake of the kingdom. It's, it's not clear from that text that you can apply it to I want, I want a BMW and God says all things will be given to me if I seek the kingdom and so for the sake of the BMW we lay hold on it so clarification the text that I quoted in a recent sermon I think it was last Sunday in fact that my wife and I chose is crucial, chose for our wedding. Though the fig tree, this is Habakkuk 3.17, though the fig tree should not blossom, nor, and the fruit of the olive fail, there be no food in the fields, and there be no flocks in the stall, and there be no herd, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. That's an amazing statement. Food is missing both on the vine and in the field, and this farm is devastated. And I will rejoice. And he didn't say, in the sure accomplishment of rescue he said I will rejoice in God the God of my salvation there will be a salvation this side or the other side of the grave God is God and he is mine and when God is your God you will live forever with ever-increasing joy but not necessarily prosper here